taxes, like FEMA, State Department. When you use a DOD asset, you have to reimburse DOD. So you can imagine an event like Sandy, uh, somebody's got to put that money back in the Department of Defense. Now, the uh, president can call the Secretary of Defense over and say, well, you know, we don't want you to ask for this, but Congress hold the purse. And Congress ensure that those agencies, uh, for instance, uh, you saw it doing Sandy, they used some C-17s to go get some, uh, some uh, uh, electrical repair trucks out of California, which I thought was a pretty stupid idea, uh, after all, when you could drive there in, in three days. But when you move a C-17 across the United States of America, ladies and gentlemen, you talk about some real money between a half a million and the three quarter million dollars to fly to the west coast, pick up four or pick up trucks and fly them to the east coast. That's pretty stupid. It was symbolic. It looked like we was doing something, but it was stupid. I would not do that again. That's why the Helms Biden Act is written so we don't do stupid things in the government. Now, that being said, I do think uh, if we don't be careful, when that uh, commander out there that's been appointed by the Adjutant General start asking for capabilities and assets, because that's the way they're being trained, that there isn't somebody standing over his shoulder and saying, well, we don't want you to ask for a ship, uh, because it might be outside the budget. We don't want the American people who have raise this military who have spent untold amount of tax uh, to build the most powerful military in the world to be told when they need it at home that it costs too much. It didn't cost too much in Afghanistan. It didn't cost too much in Iraq. Why in the hell is it going to start costing too much when we need it here in the United States? And I can tell you, I am still pretty much upset that we only put about 11,000 troops on the ground for Sandy, when in Louisiana we put 50,000 guardsmen came through here, between here and Mississippi, 20,000 federal troops and 20 ships. And I think it was under-resourced from the Department of Defense, and I still believe there's somebody with the pencil watching what it was gonna cost. Because I can tell you, the military was ready. They were ready to go support them, but there's people watching with the pen on what things are going to cost as opposed to what we need to keep our people alive. On the back side of it, we just lost over 100 and some people. God bless them, we didn't lose more, but this thing could have been worse than it was. But we believe in overwhelming capacity at the place and time. And uh, I hope we don't have another scenario where people are looking at how much we need as opposed to how much we can handle to make sure nobody loses their life of uh, not having a, a Navy ship or hospital ship or air capability on the ground that can save people's lives.